Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today is Wednesday of our week four and uh, you've been seeing study challenges. So today is Art Alive and this is challenge number 15 if you're keeping track. Here's what's going on. The plan is this, that you go to our friend Google and you Google the words famous paintings and you'll find all kinds of cool links. Let's just see what we come up with. Everything from a thousand most famous paintings to a hundred to images, all kinds of things. And then you find a painting that you really like that you can work with. Maybe it is this one or Mona Lisa, but be creative to spend some time searching around, okay? And then you recreate it in a fun, cool, well-designed, super creative way. So this has been going online since the whole virus thing started. Here's one Instagram account and you'll see all kinds of things. You got to wear clothes, so don't do any nudes, please. Um, be appropriate, all that good stuff. But you can see people have had some great fun with this. Uh, here's someone riding their dog. Um, here is someone using toilet paper as a wig. Um, some people take it really seriously, and some people definitely put a lot of fun on this project. So scope out famous paintings, and you'll find some interesting inspiration. Um, this one's interesting too. And then recreate it. Now I give you a few things. I give you a link to a site from the Getty Art Museum, uh, which, which sort of came up with this project. And they have a bunch of examples and some other links for you to see there. They also um, have some whoops, let's see if this goes. Okay, sorry, that was the site. So they also have some tips at the bottom of their page. And um, as you go through, you'll see a whole bunch of examples. But these are some tips. So definitely, um, you know, you can find some other museums to, to look for. Uh, they also recommend a Google search. And they give you some ideas on posing, all that kind of stuff, lighting, and thinking abstractly. Sometimes what we see, there's bigger meaning behind it, and you can capture that meaning. Hey, look, don't just, you know, put something, put an apple on a table and take a picture and send it in. That's not what this is. Spend some time. Be creative. Really put some thought into this. Find a cool painting that's going to work. Think about color, lights, composition, the whole thing. If you can do this in five minutes, you're not doing it. This is the kind of thing that takes a little while to figure out, to design, and that whole thing. We're all in different situations, but find a corner of your space, your apartment, your house, wherever you are, where you can work and you can do some setup. Get everything ready and then take your time with it. Don't just take one shot, take multiple and send me the very best, okay? I'm giving you today, Wednesday and tomorrow to do this. So you have loads of time to be creative and really have some fun with it. I recommend you enlist the other people in your house into this. Get your mom, get your dog, get your little brother up, put your sister in a costume, all that kind of stuff I suggested in a previous one. Don't just, like, do it yourself, okay? Have some fun with it. Hey, again, uh, this work called Counts Towards the Dual Credit, and, um, you know, it's all part of the course. So participation's kind of expected, um, but I'm trying to make them fun as well. I really hope you're doing well. I hope things are, are going best as they can for you. And I hope you're taking advantage of this time to be creative and doing cool things. I miss y'all. I wish we were back in our classroom uh, doing things, uh, working on projects together. Um, but I'm glad so many of you are taking part in this work. It's, it's really great to see your inspiration, your creativity, and your drive will not be diminished by what's going on. So stay well, you and your families bond, take, to, take time together, enjoy good meals together, and lots of time together, and be creative. All right, bye.